Hi and welcome to Puzzles Please. I'm Maddie and today I'm going to be trying out my first ever crystal 3D puzzle. The design I'm going to be doing is a steam locomotive and I picked this puzzle up when I was on holiday in the summer. We visited a little steam railway called Barla Lake, very picturesque, very nice and in the gift shop I came across this little puzzle. I've not done a crystal puzzle so I thought well, why not, it looks a bit of fun. I've not watched any videos on crystal puzzles so this is going to be a completely new experience for me. This puzzle is 38 pieces but looking online they can go up to over 100 pieces and more so there's a big range in difficulty and like a huge choice in different designs that are available. The box itself is quite dinky and small. There are no measurements on it telling us how big the completed locomotive is going to be but I can't imagine it going to be that large. However, we'll soon find out and I think it's time to have a look inside the box. This particular puzzle is made by Funtime Gifts Limited, but there are other companies that make crystal puzzles. The box is quite thin, but let's have a look inside. We've got just one bag of pieces. We sort of have a bluishy tint to them as the puzzle shows and a base piece with a bit of track on there. Anything else? Okay. Oh, steam locomotive instructions. Okay. So they give us a instruction sheet. What's this one? Okay, two instruction sheets are exactly the same. We don't need to. So the instructions tell us just follow the order of the puzzle piece shape. The puzzle can be fixed easily. It will be very interesting, challenging to one's mind if it is fixed randomly. Okay well it's only 38 pieces so I think it'll be a bit more fun if we don't go by the numbers but we'll see how we get on. Let's have a look at these pieces. Ooh, some little ones in there. Mm. They certainly have a bit of shimmer to them. However, they are obviously plastic. I think this puzzle would be very expensive if they were really crystal. Pieces do feel nice and strong and sturdy, certainly a good thing. We don't want the plastic splitting or breaking as we try and fit them together. Lots of the pieces have got, you know, the puzzle piece classic sort of uh, in and out bits to them, whilst others don't and we can identify certain pieces, like we've got the wheels down there and the front of the train. Now the instructions, having a look, They've got numbers on, but I can't see any numbers on the pieces, so I'm guessing that's just the order to put them together in. So I'm really torn whether to follow the instructions or try to just piece it together. This kind of feels more like I'm about to start putting like a Lego set together rather than a jigsaw puzzle. I think it's going to be an interesting puzzle though to piece together and like very pretty when it's all done. So this is where I'm up to. I've managed to sort of piece quite a few of the bits together. It's quite hard to see with it being sort of crystal, the ins and outs on the pieces at times. And I've got to admit, I have every so often had a quick peek at the instruction manual. Not that I'm sure it's really that helpful, to, or not to me anyway. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it right or not, but hopefully one thing I have noticed, and uh, let me grab a piece to show you, 
is they so easily come apart when you get them together they don't stick together they just fall apart straight away so when you're trying to put multiple pieces in and build it up when one slips out you're in trouble I really thought this puzzle was going to be super easy and it'd be a kind of a 15 minute job uh, it's only 38 pieces but it's definitely proving to be a little more challenging than I initially expected okay I best keep going and hopefully get this done Here is our completed steam locomotive and I just love how it glistens and shimmers when it catches the light. It gives it quite a Christmassy look so I think I'm going to keep this and put it with my Christmas decorations. As I built the body up it got trickier and trickier to put the pieces down. They would all just come apart so I got round this by using a hair elastic you could use an elastic band too put it round the pieces hold them in place and I could put them down and find the other pieces that match up I did try not to use the instructions too much I got all the body together and then I realized I had forgotten all about the wheels and then had to try and take it apart a little bit to fit the wheels in which was quite tricky once all the main body pieces were together you kind of insert a pole right down the center of them all and then there's a little key that kind of twists it and by magic it's finally sturdy and stays together. It was then just a case of adding the detail on the chimneys and the front of the train and here we have it, our steam locomotive. I kind of spent the first half of this puzzle thinking, hmm, I'm not too sure and then something just sort of clicked I really got into it I really did enjoy it I would do another crystal puzzle in the future if you're interested in doing one yourself I will add some links in my video description but I think for now that is about everything so I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel until next time take care and happy puzzling